forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. The nice weather we had over the weekend, gone. Now we are in store for a couple of rainy days, although it's not going to rain from sun up to sun down, but we will have the potential. So be sure you keep the umbrella nearby, keep the rain jackets nearby as well. We have ongoing severe weather in Arkansas and then Oklahoma as we speak. Already a confirmed tornado in northwestern Arkansas this evening. And the rain that we saw earlier, mainly confined to the coast at the moment. So just cloudy, dreary out there, maybe a couple of showers this evening. But overall, most of you are going to stay completely dry at least until tomorrow afternoon. 73 degrees, just again, very gloomy and breezy. We are going to stay on the breezy side overnight. Temperatures are not going to come down all too much. We're looking at morning temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. Some of you may not even get out of the 70s. And as I mentioned, very small chance for a couple of showers. Now, tomorrow, most of our morning will be dry. We're going to warm up into the upper 70s and lower 80s before the storms arrive, but tomorrow evening and night will likely be stormy at times as well. About 82 in Ponchatoula, 82 in Port Vincent, 82 in Gonzales, and right around 82 degrees in White Castle. And again, it is going to be unsettled, going to be active. We're under a level two risk tomorrow afternoon and evening, and then again on Wednesday. Main concern with tomorrow's storms, damaging wind gusts, maybe a couple of tornadoes, as well as some heavy rain. That may lead to some isolated flash flooding. What I mean by that, it's not going to be a widespread issue, but we could have some nuisance flooding, low-lying areas, as we well know. Downtown will, will flood even on just a normal stormy day. So we'll have to watch for that, but it's not going to be a widespread issue. Then Wednesday, the entire area is under level two risk, except for southwest Mississippi and points to the north under a level three risk for severe weather. And this is going to be afternoon, possibly in, into the overnight hours. And then all modes of severe weather will be possible, almost a, an equal chance for all across the board. But flash flooding, that risk will increase, especially Wednesday evening before cold front moves in. So here's a look at the future track. You see cloudy conditions tomorrow morning. Storms will likely start to fire up into the afternoon, but more so late afternoon through the late night hours. Here's about 6 o'clock. Storms are starting to really move into our area. Here's 8, 9 o'clock or so, and then as the night progresses, the rain should start to taper, and then the storm should settle on down. So Wednesday morning, likely on the dry side, and then here we go again, another round of storms. This is during our commute hours Wednesday, and then we'll likely have this cluster of storms that could be strong to severe move in, and it could even slow down over our area. So that is why we are concerned about the potential for some flash flooding Wednesday afternoon, evening, but again, more so the evening hours. But then here comes the cold front, and then and most of the rain that we saw overnight, Wednesday night and into Thursday, will come to an end by the morning. As for the rain totals through Thursday evening, about one to three, but locally higher amounts are expected. It's just not going to be widespread, four to five inches of rainfall. But again, we'll have to watch for flash flooding. But this rain will also be beneficial for our area. Just hopefully it doesn't all fall at once to have those issues, those flooding issues. So make sure you have multiple ways to receive alerts tomorrow. Tomorrow and Wednesday, so that weather radio, make sure your phones are charged and such. And then early rain Thursday, but the second half of the day, we're dry. Good Friday, we'll likely have some spotty rain around. Same for Easter weekend, but it's not going to be a washout. Don't cancel those outdoor plans just yet. Just have a plan B ready to go. Now it's time for our forecast, and we have.